The purpose of this trip um, to Eswatini is because of the king's uh, kind invitation to come over to participate in this triple celebration. The first two um, celebrations, of course, is about the funding of the Eswatini 55 years ago. And the second one, of course, is the king's birthday. So happy birthday to you. At the age of 55, you are still a young king. The third celebration, of course, is the establishment of the uh, diplomatic relationship between us. Uh, um, and this is uh, the 55th uh, years of um, our diplomatic relations. So I am very uh, delighted to have the opportunity to come and to join the celebration. And also, I'm very grateful uh, for your help uh, in terms of particularly uh, for our international participation. And we have a long history of working together to help each other. And um, the three agreements or documents that we signed today is a very uh, significant event in our relationship. In fact, I think it sets the milestones for the, our future relationship. The first one, of course, is about women empowerment, which I am very mindful of. And this gender equality issue is something that we attach a great importance in Taiwan, especially in recent years. And then um, we hope that we can be helpful in terms of um, women who want to establish their uh, businesses uh, by setting up startups and um, will be happy to provide help uh, to fi provide finance to the women who want to have their own businesses. And I am very happy to see that um, Eswatini has this initiative and we're more than happy to particip participate in this uh, initiative. So um, it is a great project and we're delighted to be part of it. And the second document, I'm very glad that um, we have this uh, sister city uh, arrangement between two major cities in Taiwan and Eswatini. I think it's not only a relationship between central governments, we also like to see the relationship deepens and so that uh, our uh, cities will be able to interact and, and help each other as well. So um, we're glad that we have uh, the city uh, mayor of Kaohsiung coming to join us here today. And I'm sure he would uh, find it very beneficial in having a sister relationship with the capital city of Eswatini. Right, and the third one, of course, has, is a project that we have been discussing for quite some time. And I want to thank um, uh, the King's personal intervention to make this project possible. So thank you um, very much for your help. And I look forward to a successful execution of this project so that we'll be able to establish that sort of an oil reserve, uh, strategic oil reserve uh, 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 facilities here um, and to make uh, the uh, supply of energy uh, more secure in the future. So uh, this is a great project and I hope that in the future execution we will be very mindful of the time and efficiency when we are executing this uh, uh, project. So um, I would like to say I, this is my second time here. The last time when I was here, it was five years ago, celebrate your 50th birthday. Um, at this time, five years later, we have, uh, by this time, we have uh, got through these challenges of COVID-19 and a lot of other challenges as well. So when we meet, meet each other again here in the Eswatini, it's, it's a delight. And, and, and I enjoy uh, coming here. I enjoy the friendship that you offered to us. And I hope this friendship will continue and deepen 
and the relationship between uh, the two countries will be forever. And um, you know, with our joint efforts, I'm sure the relationship will be deepened, will be broadened in the years to come. Thank you.